Hey. Uh, you can see what part it is down below in the title. Amnesia the Dark Descent, dude. Welcome back. As I promised in the end of the last episode, I give you the butt. Botox. Alright, I think it's gone. Why? Who? Broski. Okay. We were going somewhere and then this asshole came. Very scary asshole. Oh. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenburg, mm. its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. <clears throat> Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Mm. Look at me. Did you see me? See, is he? Will he be around all the time now? Ah, I'm not going in. I'm not. I'm not going in. I'm going in.
Nothing on the wall sticks out. A glass jar that was an oil. Mice, rats, whatever. Empty glass container, dude. You gotta do some more mixing, I think. Delirium Truman Buttery Applicandus <laughs> No way Buttery Applicandus it's 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 for the butt Idiot when idiots try to be funny that's what you get dude right, so that was the storage yo um I don't think there was anything else. Well, dick in a box, dude. Did he see us now? We should be moving at all, dude. Oh, that's just... Okay, we gotta find that fucking kitchen though for some fucking reason. I don't know. I don't know why. Cistern <laughs> entrance, dude.
leading out of this area is locked by a worn padlock. Worn. No, not the fucking drill, yo. Okay. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! Is that the girl? Go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. Thank all these damn walls, dude. Kill her? Who? Who kills?
Am I going the wrong way again? Oh, I can't see shit. Oh, dude! Is this this is where I came from? I'm not touching this. No one's fucking catching us. Not today. Not today, yo. Not today. Sometimes, I think he overstays his welcome a little bit. I thought I could grab... Idiot. Thirty-nine. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment 
I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I would still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Yeah. Okay. What a tiny fee. Red. I think we have a rodent problem in here, dude. I don't know what the fuck that is. Acid. Nice. So we got acid. Oh, we don't spill it. That's one hell of an asset, dude. That's one hell of an asset. That shit's strong! So what should we go and dissolve with that asset, though? Maybe a... Maybe a padlock? Just maybe a padlock? Where was this fucking padlock though? <laughs> uh. What was this way? Have I been here? I don't... Oh, this is the fucking... No, this is... This is the other padlock, right? That's not the one we're after. We need that latrine thing, padlock. Uh... 
Only I could remember where it was though. I'm not very good at this. The backtracking of, of finding stuff I already have seen uh, on purpose. It's hell, okay. Oh, and we're out. Okay. Look at your hands, dude. Weakened it, so then just give it a little. I like that. Like, if you're not. Oh! It's dark, yo! It's dark! <laughs> It's so loud! It's so fucking loud! Dude, it's so loud! I... So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Okay, my dudes. Um, I think we're ending it here, and um, hopefully, I'll see you again, right? Have a good one, okay? Peace.